sure my days at the GCPD are over. But I knew that going in. Then why'd you do it? You're not the only one who made a promise. At the end of season two, Gordon is confronted with himself, both literally in the form of Clayface and psychologically as Strange breaks him down. I have been speaking about your life as if it had a future. And that is not so. He saves the day, being Gordon the hero, of course, but that reflection causes him to walk away from the GCPD. Where are you going? The city's in danger. You got this. I know you do. And I have more important things to do. So at the end of season two, he's gone down south to find his meaning and lead. As we pick up season three, we see the results of Gordon's trip to find Lee Tompkins. And then we push ahead six months. We see Gordon as a hardened bounty hunter chasing down the monsters that have been unleashed on the city of Gotham. How many escapees you brought in now? Six? What happens when there aren't any more? I don't think Gotham's run out of monsters anytime soon. Gotham is in a state of anarchy, and Gordon is an independent contractor, if you will, trying to make a buck. Any chance you want to come quietly? He's pretty disillusioned and given up his quest to clean up the city. Saving Gotham's not my job anymore.